Hi everybody and welcome to Heal Heat. My name is George Coles and on this episode we're going to address the debate on who the best heel in pro wrestling is. There's been an argument amongst the internet wrestling community over who the best heel in wrestling is. Is it MJF? Is it Dominic Mysterio? Is it maybe somebody else? For the sake of this video, we're going to stack up Dominic Mysterio versus MJF. I have six different categories. I'm going to consider them each in, and we're going to go through each one, who wins in each category. And at the end, we're going to choose an overall winner. With that being said, let's jump right into it. First category, promos. Now this one you would think would be a slam dunk for MJF, but I don't think it's as cut and dry. I don't think it's a blowout here. I think Dominic Mysterio has grown leaps and bounds, especially since turning heel, and really puts on some amazing promos there that really generate some heat. With that being said, I do have to go with MJF here because MJF pretty much has built his brand off of being the guy to do promos. So I'm gonna give him the nod on this one. MJF gets the first category. Next up, in-ring talent. Now this could be hard to judge for a, a heel, especially the kind of heel that these two guys play, because they're not trying to be flashy. They're not trying to be the best wrestler in the world. They're trying to piss you off. They're trying to anger the fans. Both of these guys, I think, have been in some amazing matches. I really enjoy their work going forward. I really think they do great. I do have to give the nod again to MJF here because MJF has had some of the better matches of the last year or so, whether it be with CM Punk or Brian Danielson or Kenny Omega. I think MJF, at this point, has the edge in in-ring ability. I don't know if two, three years down the road, Dominic is going to catch up with him once he gets into those main events matches once we start seeing Mysterio versus Reigns, Mysterio versus Rollins. That might change and Mysterio may take the lead there but as of right now it's going to MJF. Now our third category and probably one of the most important who gets the most actual heat? Who gets the most visceral, organic, guttural reaction from the fans? To me, I think this is very one-sided. I don't think there's any wrestler in the world that gets as much organic heat with actual hatred than Dominic Mysterio. I definitely think he wins in this category. The fans can't help but boo him. Even the smart fans that are along for the ride that'll cheer MJF or boo MJF because that's what he's supposed to be doing. They just boo Mysterio, and at times it's so loud that you could barely hear what he's saying. I have to give him the nod here just because when I talk to people, I find more people just generally hate Dominic Mysterio than hate MJF. A lot of people respect MJF, so I'm going to give that to Dominic on this end. He wins on this category. Now next up, a similar but not quite the same category, believability. Whose character do you believe more? Now, both have very good, believable qualities. MJF is kind of the spoiled rich kid. Dominic Mysterio as the ungrateful, spoiled rich kid of a, a Hall of Fame talent that's that's been manipulated by this evil gang of wrestlers. This is one I kind of swung back and forth with. To me, the thing that won and took the pendulum over to Dominic Mysterio's side, I'm giving this one to Mysterio as well, is the fact that at times, MJF gets a little bit too silly, does stuff like the sing of Frank Sinatra, which I thought was a really entertaining segment. However, I didn't think it was a heel segment. Whereas Dominic Mysterio, I think everything he does is on that heel side. I'm going to lean this towards Mysterio. I give him the, the nod here. So as of right now, they each got two categories that they excelled in, and we're going to keep going on. The next up, achievements. This is kind of an unfair category, being as it... MJF has about five years experience on Mysterio. But if we're going to talk about the best, you don't talk about the best boxer being better than a rookie just because he's had five years in. You talk about he's better because he has had that experience and he has achieved so much. As you can see, I'm leaning towards MJF here. MJF is the one with the more achievements here. As of the time of this recording, he's the current AEW World Champion. He's been in more main event matches. He's been in more main event programs than Mysterio. I do think there is something to be said 
with how much Mysterio has achieved so shortly. So he is doing really good there. He just has had a guy that's got a head start and has clearly been the face of his company for a little while. So for that, MJF picks up the the category here. Last but not least on our categories, who has the brightest future specifically as a heel? This is kind of a hard category because your best heels over a time frame are eventually going to turn face anyway. The crowd's going to turn them that way. They're going to get to the point where they just appreciate them. It's happened with Piper. It's happened with... Flair. Now, out of these two, who do I think is going to be able to continue to be viewed as a heel and as a bad guy for a longer time frame? I'm giving that nod to to Dominic Mysterio. I feel like MJF is just one double turn with, say, someone like CM Punk or Adam Cole from him losing the championship and becoming a default babyface. Not necessarily changing what he's doing, but having the fans behind him. Whereas Mysterio, I think he can ride this heel gimmick and character for a while. I've talked to my cousin John about this. John absolutely hates Dominic Mysterio. And one of the things he brought up is he can't wait for Rhea Ripley to dump him. My opinion, Dominic has to become cocky enough that he dumps Rhea Ripley because he doesn't need her. Because obviously Rhea Ripley's a face right now. Dominic needs to bring in... Rhea Ripley's next feud as her replacement. That's where I think the difference between MJF is. I think Dominic could keep this going for several years to the point where everybody that joins up with him, he turns on and eventually starts a feud with. For that, I'm giving a nod to Dominic Mysterio. Now, as you can see, if you've been keeping along, each one of these guys have three categories each that they've won. MJF has better promos, better ring ability. Dominic won the organic reactions and believability. MJF won the achievements. Dominic, I think, has the best future. Overall, this is a very close race to call and probably a lot closer than anyone thinks on either end of the argument. I do have to give the slight nod to Dominic Mysterio, in my opinion, just because of that believability, because of that guttural reaction that he gets. I think that puts him over the top a bit for me. So in my opinion, the best heel in pro wrestling currently, Dominic Mysterio. With all that being said, let's smash that like button, share the video, subscribe if you haven't. If you see where it says join, that's how you become a channel member. Becoming a channel member does have benefits. You get shout outs on the videos. What's up, Chris? You get preferential treatment when it comes to deciding what videos are made, early access to videos, special emojis, priority on comments. So it definitely benefits me if you would like to become a member. Hopefully it benefits you with those things that we're giving with that. I'd appreciate if you considered it. With all that being said, if you made it to the end of the video, let me know who you think is a the best heel in wrestling. Is it MJF? Is it Dominic Mysterio? Put it down here in the comments your opinion. With all that being said, my name is George Coles, and that's my opinion on the best heel in pro wrestling.